Ex-Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick is picking up some powerful support in his plea for a pardon tonight. Metro Detroit businessman Peter Carmanos Jr. backing the effort, and he's not the only one. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell live with the fight to free the former mayor from prison. Kim. Yes, it is a controversial topic that brings to the forefront questions about justice, race relations, and power. Now some are calling on President Donald Trump to weigh in on whether Kwame Kilpatrick should be freed. Kwame Kilpatrick has now been in prison for going on seven years of his 28-year sentence. The punishment came after he was found guilty of 24 counts, including racketeering, bribery, extortion, and mail fraud. Prosecutors accused the former Detroit mayor of using the city to make a contractor millions of dollars. A modern day lynching, that's what we saw, all right? We had an arrogant mayor, really smart by the way. CompuWare founder Peter Carmanos Jr. spoke out on Charlie LaDuff's No BS News Hour podcast about how he feels the sentence was too long. He shared details of how he has reached out to President Donald Trump and Jared Kushner, asking them to commute Kilpatrick's sentence as time served. Because you are a billionaire and you got, you got a line into the White House. So you're saying this from personal knowledge that the president is considering it. Sure. And he is not the only one reaching out. They've made no promises but they've expressed that it's under consideration. So we're working closely with the family and we're working closely with the representative uh, from the White House. Representative Sherry Gay Dagnogo says she and other Detroit lawmakers expressed they believe Kilpatrick was sentenced more harshly than white politicians convicted of similar crimes. But look across the country. We've seen a trend where far too often the sentences that are handed down to African Americans and people of color are grossly different from those of any other race. But this is not just a race issue. This is a justice issue. We went on social media to ask the public what they thought. We found many feel Kwame Kilpatrick is guilty and therefore deserves his sentence. However, when we stopped in the Omega County Island and spoke to Detroiters, most said they would like to see Kilpatrick released. He, he was good. He did a lot of good things in the community. So, a little too cocky. I think for being, by being so cocky, I think that's why he stayed in there so long. I just think he, he, he didn't deserve a sentence. During the podcast, Carmanos made the case that he believes that the White House should take action because it will help win votes in the upcoming and close presidential election where Michigan is a battleground state. We'll see how that plays out. Seven Action News reached out to the White House for comment, and we were told no comment. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you.